So my dudes, Valk here, and with the end of the week brings the end of the event, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my thoughts on energy amplifi amplifier, amplifier, blah, 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 am energy amplification, or amplifier, I forget what it is, as a whole. This was my favorite event yet. Um, straight up, you can see the only one that beat my butt was this one, because Ruin Guards plus Shao do not mix well, but this was probably the coolest thing, like this kind of rune system they added in. Uh, I never did co-op in the event, so... <laughs> but, as you can see, like, this was really cool, how you had different abilities. It reminded me a lot of, like, uh, Path of Exile and Diablo. Whenever you get, like, full sets and stuff going, your the entire way you play changes because you have really cool effects going on constantly. It reminded me of things like that, and also the fact that they had, like, they figured out a way to make, like, open-world stuff actually difficult. I figured out a way to make like open world things actually difficult by having those stones that buffed up the enemies and you had the option to either break the stones or you had the option to just nuke the enemies like I did and deal like actual free to play damage. <laughs> so that's what I did and if you were free to play you wanted to make the things easier you could just break the stones which wasn't that difficult or you could just go straight after the mobs if you wanted things to stay more difficult. <laughs> I thought that was a cool approach to it, so somebody like me could have actual, you know, challenging fights for once in the open world. The event as a whole is freaking amazing, dude. I really hope they do more of this. This is more akin to the Hypostasis event that everybody heralds as, like, the shining crown of achievements as far as, like, difficulty. I think this was really good. I think this is a really good step forward in the right direction because events like this are just so freaking cool to where you can select your own difficulties and when you go down a list of modifiers and make it as hard as you want. Now granted, you didn't need to go super high in the score. Like You'll be able to clear out the shop pretty easily considering you can at least reach the max score and the max score was not that hard to get. Max score, I believe, was only like, what, 24k or something like that? 20k even. And you can see I'm sitting at 31k. So you guys should have been able to do it. You only had to get 5k on each one, and there's four of them, and that's pretty pog. Anyways, uh, super short video about it because there's not much to talk about. It, you guys seen my runs. You guys saw, like, if you guys were into live streams, you know how much fun I had with this event. This was a really, really fun event. I really hope they do more of it. And I don't know exactly what event is next. I'd have to go rewatch the live streams, but I'm hoping it's a good one. I'm hoping it's not the Hill Troll one. Dude. The Hill Troll one looks kind of sad. But we'll see whenever it comes out. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this event. Because I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on this event. I think it's a cool one. Um, other than that, thank you all for watching as always. I'll catch you all later. Peace.